welcome to the channel you guys this is jatham clark aka the mando predator if you guys are new to this channel you guys haven't already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell my goal is to hit to 500 this year for my goal i make cool content reaction gaming movie and tv show reviews or if you're all into that so today we're going to do a reaction video and this video is the problem with school drills oh boy let's just get to it School drills are a weird concept. Cause on one hand, they're supposed to be put in place to protect the student. But on the other hand, they don't protect the student. Like they fail their job. Most school drills just serve no purpose. Like they're Sorry not gonna protect that. it. Like for instance, a weather drill. What the hell is crouching on my knees, <laughs> getting in straight up doggy style position gonna do to protect me from a goddamn tornado, bro? Like look, make that make sense. Like if that tornado wanna suck me up, bro, they finna give me that Riley Reed treatment, bro. It's just gonna happen. Like me crouching to the ground and I actually never did a weather like a weather drill before. Well, we done like an earthquake drill and a lockdown drill. Putting my head on Where the wall is not gonna do shit. And the fact that we still practice this to this day is insane. Like real talk, if serious situation like a tornado hits the school, it doesn't matter what we do. We're all packed up. Because I'ma just tell you this: if a tornado wants your ass, it's gonna get your ass, bro. No questions, no dis. He's got a point, you know. He's got a point. Discussion. If anything, y'all should be trying to flee the school instead of staying in there. If you know a tornado's gonna hit your school in about 30 minutes, why the hell are y'all still at that school, bruh? Leave. Like, each and every school has about 10. The schools don't even have a storm shutter or something. A uh, cellar or something. Like, what the heck? I would just leave. The 15 buses for a reason, bro. Pack every student in there and leave the premises, bro. It's that simple. And like the teachers and staff members say you do this to like protect your head from wreckage or the ceiling like caving in, bro. But like, let's be real, bro. If that big ass, heavy ass ceiling starts caving in, bro, I'm finna die regardless of what I do, bro. What, what, what about my body, bro? You think I'm not just gonna get like Tiana Trump, bro? bro? I'm in doggy <laughs> position already, bro. The ceiling's finna just clap me, bro. And another stupid drill that I will never understand are fire drills oh I, just a reminder back when i started junior year when i moved here to gilbert in my uh, my new high school we didn't even do a fire drill and this was scary if this is actually true we never did a fire drill the entire school year of of 2020 of when 2020 started and then 2021 i'm like how come we never did a fire a fire drill or like like a lockdown drill we didn't do any of those that year like what is going on how are we going to learn from those Come on. Well, let's just be very honest with ourselves. If there is a real life fire going on in the school, <laughs> just get the heck out of here, please. Just get the hell out of there. I am not walking outside in a single file line, bro. I am sprinting, bro. <laughs> like, fire drills are so unrealistic and just so pointless. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. If the building's on fire, nobody is walking out in a single file line, bro. That's like asking a Discord mod not to like cupcakes, bro. Like, why would anyone walk in a fire drill? Do a fire drill. And I'll tell you the truth. I'll just leave my stuff and just get the heck out of there. It's just not going to happen. And y'all can make the argument about, oh, we do it so we can find our exit and that we know where to go. Like, bro, that doesn't matter. It's still pointless. We don't got to walk outside in a single file line every single month in the cold ass weather. Just to do a stupid little fire drill that will never be reenacted in a real life situation. It's like, bro, it, it just pissed me off. And for whatever reason, fire drills always happen on the <laughs> worst day, bro. Like, it will be flat out pouring outside. Oh. Puddles and streams everywhere and cold as shit. And then these dumbass administrators will look outside and be like, well, looks like a perfect day to do a fire drill head ass. I swear to God, they <laughs> got to do that shit on purpose, bro. They just want to make us miserable. Wow. I mean, the only good thing about fire drills is that, like, you do kind of get out of class for, like, a little bit because you have to leave class early to do it. But another pointless drill that I would just never understand are school shooter drill. When most likely the shooter is doing the drill. That makes no sense. Like, you are or literally you just basically hear gunshots for the drill that's it the only thing, alarm sound is just the gunshots giving the school shooter a play-by-play -play on where all his victims or ops are going to be bro like and then not only do you have that who came up with the bright idea of just turning off the lights and hiding like bro the, the school shooter obviously knows y'all are there but like shutting off the lights and hiding and being quiet doesn't do he may not see it, but probably he'll know if I sound. He'll know by sound, 
Why not just because he'll see us? Do anything. The school still knows that y'all are there. The only productive thing they do in all this is lock the door. Because honestly, that's the only thing you can do in this situation. But then these classrooms will have locked doors, but they will also have these windows that you can break easily and just unlock the door from the inside with. There has to be a better design than that. And then also, let's not forget another pretty obvious point that people just don't talk about. If there's actually a school shooter at my school, I am not staying at the school, bro. As soon I remember we had those like locked up back in eighth grade and basically we had that lockdown for like all day. They did not tell us the doctor. Oh, this was supposed to be like a lockdown practice, but something actually happened and we were in that lockdown drill for all day since we started school and then ended school like all day in our class we were stuck in our first period our first period all we did was just sat there all day and basically about like a snapchat guy or something i don't know what the heck happened what's going on i don't know what what what, what did happen as soon as I hear a code black or whatever it's called, I am leaving the school premises. And I know the teachers say that's dangerous because you don't know if the school shooter is outside, bro. Why would he be outside? All of his ops are inside, bro. Why would he be out? Like, I'm telling you, as soon as- There might be more or something. There won't be just one school shooter. Probably more. If I hear one pop, 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 well, I am out. <laughs> like, you gotta be some type of stupid to stay in the school when you know there's an active shooter inside the school. That's I don't just get slow. Then is. also, let's not forget, when this drill happens and everybody knows <laughs> it's a drill, absolutely nobody treats this serious. Like, people with dead be talking and chopping it up during a drill like this, bro. Have people are just going on their phones. People just don't know when to stop when they sit and tell them to scoot over. I'm like, dude, come on, just sit. No care in the world. Like, they would... They they would just be playing around like they, they people just do not care about this drill and then also let's not forget if this drill happens in real life let's be real nobody is staying silent Cause like bro you cannot tell me that one Shut emily up. or gracie or becky in your class is not gonna be bawling her eyes out once she finds out the drill isn't a drill like, she's gonna be crying calling her mom texting and if you try to get her to stop she's just gonna cry more and just blow y'all cover like what is your purpose like you're trying to get us killed bro and then let's not also forget if this drill actually happened the teacher's probably gonna be freaking out too this is just a terrible situation if they get scared i could get scared because i don't like getting scared when this happens God forbid you get stuck in a spanky class <laughs> imagine if you get stuck in a spanky class during the school shooting, bro. all them kids gonna be like ma, ma. No, chill, chill. kids gonna be making noise why y'all try to escape silently go blow y'all cup <laughs> all them kids gonna get back though baby they gonna get you back though <laughs> bro, that got it tough. I repeat all the spade kids that got cut. I feel bad for the teacher too. You, you, you stuck with them. Hopefully, I don't get canceled for saying that. But hey, all in all, school drills are just dumb in my opinion. Y'all can say what y'all want about them and about how they're supposed to protect. I know they're dumb. I actually take them seriously, but they want us to take it seriously. It does, but like, let's be real. In the real situations, the only real option is just to run and run as fast as you can. All these special precautions and safety things is not gonna help or work. And nobody's gonna listen to it. In a real situation, everybody's finna just dip. That's the honest truth for most situations, especially a fire wow. drill. People are just gonna leave. That's just what's gonna happen. Sorry. You know what drill they should have though? A health drill. Like for instance, <laughs> if a kid just has a, a seizure. <laughs> Sorry. Class, we should have a drill to where teachers and students know what to do in that situation. Cause like right now, if a situation like that happened, or if like someone OD'd or had a heart attack in class, nobody would know what to do if the teacher is not trained. Like they really need to start training teachers or students on how to especially the teachers or react to that situation. Cause right now we don't. And like if someone has a seizure or ODs in class, they might just get deleted. Don't know. So like stuff like that <laughs> should Elizabeth. actually be a drill. And I feel like schools need to do better about how they teach school drills school safety has become a big top in america it's just not up to date school drills are so outdated and honestly that's a very dangerous scary thing because for instance in like a real school shooting situation if the teacher is not capable of working thinking under pressure and being able to operate hell she could risk lives i feel like there should be a better system for not only that but for school weather because the school weather should is i'm sorry that's not gonna do anything like obviously the best case scenario for that is 
Well, like, you gotta play. imagine at least some. Well, back in my senior year, we have to learn how to take CPR and stuff for class. So that's, that's a good thing. As long as they take like they know CPR and take a class on CPR and stuff, they'll know what they're doing. It's just to lead through. I wasn't even joking about that. I was being dead ass, and it's really the best thing. I know what you mean, man. But yeah, sorry for getting kind of serious on y'all, but like sorry, that's but a real thing and a real. I should not. I should not have laughed. Why did I even laugh anyway? No issue that we had. Besides that, that's pretty much the video. So hey, tell me how y'all liked it. Tell me if I should do more stuff like this. Shout out the generosity. This is his idea. Besides that, appreciate y'all for watching. Motion lifestyle link in bio if y'all want to go cop. Merch is on the way. I kind of teased it in the other videos, but it's coming out pretty soon. So get ready for that. We have a couple designs already picked out, but we just gotta kind of like process and make stuff. Find suppliers. If you know a good supplier, hit me up. But yeah, we got we got the design. We finna do it. I'm thinking of starting a brand. I'm not gonna disclose what it is yet because I still need to trademark it. But a lot of stuff is coming to the channel. So hey, be in tune. All right now, y'all the OGs. We still. We're, we're, we're at a hundred we're over 100k now but like right now this is where the real ogs come in once we hit a mil you know y'all gonna be the real og besides that though follow all the socials instagram twitter twitch discord right here go ahead and join that i stream i'm gonna start streaming more often so stay in tune for that besides that that's pretty much it so thank y'all for watching appreciate y'all love y'all thank you and goodbye money 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 more money 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 even more money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. So that's going to be it for today's channel, you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on all my social medias. And this is Mando, signing off.